The Greek word hippos means horse. So hippotherapy is treatment or therapy aided by a horse. In fact, the concept can be found in ancient Greek writings. To learn more about hippotherapy, the benefits, and a local program, we visited Sea Line Stables in Townsend, Delaware. Tell me, what's the name of this program, and tell me about it and how it came about. Um, well, Heather, this is the Smyrna School District Early Childhood Therapeutic Riding Program, and it is a riding program specifically for the special needs children at the Smyrna School District in our Early Childhood Program, meaning our children that are preschool age, anywhere from three to five years of age. Um, and the children range in diagnoses from autism, um, they might have some mild cerebral palsy, they might have a learning disability, they might have a seizure disorder, um, it, they, they might have um, dyslexia. There are just many um, uh, components to the diagnoses that they might have and they're varying. Um, and the program came about, um, one, I have a love for horses and I know um, just how wonderful horses can be with kids who have diagnoses. And the fact that I'm an occupational therapist and I could put this together with the riding was just perfect. And so when I presented it to um, the teachers and the Board of Ed at Smyrna um, and the superintendent, they were so supportive. So I cannot give enough thanks to um, my colleagues at the Smyrna School District. And then um, the other component to that is Taylor Dixon, who is an FFA student, who also is a Western rider, and she has a love of horses. So she approached me about the FFA coming out and um, working with us because she also loves children and she knew this would be a great way to involve the whole school and the whole community. And so that's how come the FFA students are out here helping us. They come every week as well um, to sidewalk and, and just interact with the children. And then in, in in addition to that, we also have typicals that come because that way we can incorporate language with the children and socialization with the children. Taylor, tell me, how did the FFA become involved with this program? Well, I actually go to church with Mrs. Jacobs, who's in charge of this, and she's been wanting to do something like this for a while now. And at church, she brought it up to me, her idea, and I was like, well, that would be a great thing for our chapter to do because we need a community service activity and this is a long going thing, so it's really great for us and it's something that all of our members can be involved in. And every Thursday we have somebody that comes, usually an advisor, and we take about 10 students and we come and work with the kids. So how do you like working with the kids? Because you're very young, are you used to working with little guys like this? <laughs> well, it's actually very enjoyable for all of us. I mean, I'm an only child, so it's an experience for me but a lot of my friends are not, and they all enjoy it because you get so much out of it, even though it's meant for them, but it's easy to forget the little things sometime in life, and when you hang out with them and help them, you just see how much fun they have. Now, have you seen improvements in the kids? I have. I have had the privilege to come quite a few times, and just by coming and working with different ones, you can see like from when they got on to when they get off an improvement. Thank you so much, Taylor. I know that everybody is so excited about the FFA, you know, helping out with this program. And you're excited too, obviously. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. So we are just really excited to have this program, and it's unique because nobody in the state has um, the early childhood going. Um, we do have, um, there are a couple of other districts that do it, but the children are more severe and the children are older, so this is really unique. And we're also going to be going to Special Olympics um, at the end of September. We're going to be taking 50 children up to Carousel Farms, and we're going to be in the Special Olympics, so we're very excited about that. That's amazing. <laughs> um, for people that don't understand hippotherapy and they come up to you and they're like, okay, really, a horse? What can a horse do to help a child? What's your reaction? Well, my reaction first is, um, and people don't know this, but the gait of the horse um, actually mimics the gait, uh, is the closest gait to that of a person. So when um, we put the child on top of the horse, we're working on their core and trunk stability. It actually, you know, people always say to me, oh, the horse does all the work. It, it is the farthest thing from the truth. Actually, just walking on a horse, especially our children with um, physical 
physical and cognitive deficits, it's hard. Um, so as you can see today, they were riding backwards, they were playing catch, they were placing rings on, on a uh, stick, um, and they're following directions. So not only are they getting academics, but they're working on their core and trunk stability strength. And they're working on um, uh, getting that sensory input of vestibular, the motion. And a lot of our children who have these deficits have, a tr have, have trouble um, with motion. And so the horse just kind of um, desensitizes them to that. And then, of course, they get all the socialization. But I think the biggest thing that the riding does for our kids is um, the confidence building, the self-esteem building, because they, they look at these horses as these huge animals. And of course, then they end up after five weeks of riding, because each class rotates for five weeks, and they have so much self-confidence. And then I have had parents who have children with autism who have a, have a very difficult time just carrying on a conversation with their own children. And they said, now they can actually talk with their children at home about the riding, because they're so motivated to talk about it. And then lastly, it's that bond. Um, and you know this as a person who loves horses yourself, the bond that we create with a horse is just a very special and very unique bond. And the kids are just so excited and happy to come each week and work with the horses. So I say to, parent, to people that don't know about the horses, they're just an amazing tool to help these kids. Well, I can't stress how wonderful I think this program is. Thank you so much for all your hard work and thanks for being on the show. Thank you, Heather. We appreciate you putting us on. Thank you very much.